Hi everyone, Kathy here with Buffalo Check Chicks. Today I thought I would do something a little different and show you the Easter things that I already have. Now I bought these two last year, I think from Goodwill, and they were only three something each and I thought they were the cutest. So I have those two. And then I have a bin here full of Easter things and another bin here full of Easter things. So. I thought we'd just go through it and I could show you guys what I have. And then that's not including the other things that I bought recently that I showed in my haul probably a week or so ago. More Easter things. So <laughs> I'd like to go through it with you guys and show you what I got. And let's get into it. Hi everyone all right so i got it all set up here with my bins and going to go through and i would like to downsize a little bit because i need everything to fit into these two bins that i already have all my new stuff is not going to fit so what do you guys think keep i think keep okay this is going to be hard now the stuff that i had in in bags, usually like the smaller things I put in bags for my tiered tray. So that's going to be keep a bag of Easter eggs. These are wood Easter eggs. They're really cool. And then I have the plaid ones. Keep <laughs> garlands. And we have nest, bird nest, more eggs, what else, how cute is this, I got this a few years back at I think Big Lots, I think it's cute, that's a keep, I think I made this last year, I put a little wood bottom on it and stained it. It's probably a keep. That's a keep. This is going to be harder than I thought. So you forget what you have after not seeing it for a year. That's a keep. more garland. I think I made this one. Last year I painted one side then I put paper on the other side and mod podge them. That's a keep. What else do I Definitely a keep. good to also go through and know what you have before you go buy more. This is probably a Goodwill find. It's cute though. Yep, Goodwill, $1.99. It's cute. It's got soft ears and it's plastic. <laughs> probably a keep. This, I think I got this last year at Home Goods. Super cute. Little baby bunny. That's a keep. Does anybody else do this? Go through their things. Not to go through and downsize sometimes. I think I got this on Amazon last year. It was a set. See if this is the other one. Yep. That's very cute. So that's a keep. Oh, that's another little blue bunny. Little blue bunnies. Super cute. Oh boy. This is what I made last year. 
with plastic eggs that I painted white and with a napkin I Mod Podge the eggs. I have a whole bowl of them that I made. So that's definitely a keep. I love the blue and white. Definitely a keep. This is a little Easter egg house, Easter bunny house, Goodwill. Another bunny with a pretty flower, a little daisy. That was from Home Goods last year. Definitely a keep. I got tons of Easter eggs that I don't really use anymore because my grandkids are in Maine. I guess I could send them something, but I don't use those. I usually do send them something. Okay, this one is black and white. Oh, that's cute. I don't know if I have another one to match that or not. This is definitely a keep. I got this last year. Joanna Parker. Yeah, Joanna Parker. Home goods last year. I got that. It's a keep. I keep all my paper from when I buy things at like Home Goods and that, so I can rewrap my breakables. This one's cute too, with the little baby bunny and the mama. Another cute. That was from Ross. Ross last year, six ninety nine. Keep. <laughs> oh boy. What's in here? Hey, this is my Peter Rabbit I found last year. I think it's Peter Rabbit. Hold on. No, it's Beatrix Potter. Three ninety eight. Beatrix Potter. Okay, I'm back. I had an interruption there. Family members, you know how that goes. So this, I don't know if I'll keep this in mind. That might go to the donate pile. And this might be a donate pile too. His ears are coming off, which I could glue it. So that's a maybe. So I got, I usually have donate, the maybe, and the keep. So this is going to be a maybe. Then we have this here with a little bunny butt coming out of the side of the truck. That's cute. $6.99. I don't know where it, maybe this is Hobby Lobby. I don't know, I had this for a while. It's just a flat wood thick piece. So that's probably a keep. This I made last year. Now sometimes when you make things and you put it away, it gets kind of squishy and it's got the little moss bunny in there and the little flower bucket. I don't know, I might have to fix that up. And then what else? We got this one that I made. That one's cute. Remember Marlene making one like this? The little moss and the little... We made these carrots. This one we didn't, but... That was the DOI. And see, sometimes the, the glue gives out after keeping it in the shed for a while, so I'll have to fix that one up. Getting down there, in this one basket here. These are the little signs sometimes I put on my tier tray. And this one, I like the peeps, I think they're cute. Oh, for peeps' sake, I love that. That's a keep. And another little bunny 
with his little pink nose and the little pink flower. Super cute. All right, what else? This one I made last year on a piece of wood that I got at Dollar Tree. And then I took some paint and went around the edges and I took this picture I printed online and just Mod Podged it on there. And it's so easy to get the edges just with some um, sandpaper and then Mod Podge the top. Love it. That's a keep. And these signs, I do like them. They're really cute. I'll probably put them in the kitchen. The only problem I have with Dollar Tree signs is that they usually get warped. This one's not, well, it's not too bad, but you can see how they get warped because they're so thin, but it's, they're really cute. I like them. So those are a keep. Another peep sign. I like that too, so I'll keep that one. At least signs are easy, easier to store. They're flat. This I printed offline last year and I bought this frame. And I just love this bunny. I think it's the cutest thing. So definitely a keep. There's a lot of prints you could find online for your own personal use. If you're not, you're not selling it or anything, just print them out and frame them. And I love the frame. I think I got this at Walmart, the frame. And I just printed it on cardstock. That's the cutest. Alright, we're getting down there. Oh, here's my buffalo checks. The little garlands. Uh oh, they're stuck together. I use craft paper. The little wood cutouts. I got these from Dollar Tree. And I Mod Podge paper. Craft paper on there. So, yes, I made a garland. Buffalo check chick garland. So that has to be a keep. A bucket of eggs. Don't really need these. I think I'll make a box and send it to my grandkids. This I did find at Walmart last year. It almost looks like the other one that I printed for free online. This one's bigger. And I did pay $14.99 for that. It's almost the same same frame. I love it. It's good size too. So that's definitely a keep. Hey, we got through one box. All right, let me grab the other box. All right, so we have this sign here. This is Happy Easter. Be hung up or it can be just on a shelf. I think that's a key. All kinds of gnomes. Let's see. A couple gnomes. These are cute for Easter. The colors are pretty. So that's a keep. These I made last year. Super cute. I took three of the Dollar Tree bunnies. I glued their arms together and I glued the eggs in front of them to make it look like they're holding them. And then I put little bows on their, on their ne necks. <laughs> and they just hang out together. Love those. So that's a keep. These are the guys from Dollar Tree. I like the colors for spring. And this was from Goodwill. I do like it. It's cute. It's like a little, it has hinges on it. Little fence type of thing. Like they're in the garden. So that's cute, but that's, that's going to be a maybe. These were from Dollar Tree. Maybe festive for spring, Easter. Now I have a million carrots, bunches of carrots. Keep those. What else? 
and this is super cute. This is from Goodwill. And I love how the bunny is on the swing here. Like they're outside playing in the little, I don't know, little tree swing. Super cute. That's the key. And then this little one. It opens up. How cute is that? <clears throat> that was from Goodwill also. So that's a keep. <clears throat> what else? The throat was still a little scratchy. Oh yes. A white bunny with a buffalo check ribbon. It's a keep. I have one random bunny here from Dollar Tree. Maybe I could decorate that one too with some little bows and such. All right, what else? This one I've had for ever. This is super cute. Piece of hair. Some things I just, if you have them forever, you don't feel like letting go of them. Some things you do, I guess. <clears throat> Oh, here's another bunny that matches this one. Well, I think I just, they do kind of match if I put the bows around them. You could dress them up like that, put any color bow. Okay, what else? This is also from um, Goodwill. This little bunny had this one forever too. And then just this little vase, I put some grass in there, just prop them up a little bit. I like the color of this. It's very pretty. Right, I'm running out of room, guys. Of course, more peeps. This was from, from Walmart from Walmart a while ago, a couple years back. And those are a keep for me. These are so cute too. Look at these all Cecil bunnies. I like those. Definitely a keep. Cecil, Cecil. I don't know, I like them. And these I've had for quite some time too. I think these also came from Big Lots. I usually put that on my table. I'm not sure what I'm doing this year. I'll figure it out. Where to put them? Okay. All right. More glass. More glass. Just a little, could be like a little candy dish. I put little eggs in there, little foam Easter eggs. It's a keep. And what is this? Easter sign, Dollar Tree. This is just a little fence piece that I painted and put some pretty buttons on there. And I can make a little scene with it, with the little bunnies, and put it on a shelf. So that's a keep. It's too many, too many things. Okay, what is this? A little bunny that could go on a tiered tray. A little bunny shelf sitter. These are always cute. I have another one of those shelf sitters too, this one. Cute. And these little flowers. I think I have three of these somewhere. Yes, I have a green one, a pink one, yellow. And they say, live, love, laugh. But you don't have to keep them that way. You could turn them around. Put them that way. All right, there's another one. And this I got at Dollar Tree. No, Goodwill. 
good one. It's a light post I put with those little, um, make a little scene with these type of things, put them together. You'll see, I'll do a, um, I'll do a, what do you call it? Home tour for Easter. And I have this basket. Let's see. In there. A little chick. How cute. Little chicky chick. Piece of hair on them. I don't have many chicks. Hardly any chicks. I wear the buffalo check chicks. <laughs> Alright, this is just a little sign, I think, from Hoggy Bobby. And then I have this basket, a buffalo check basket, with some buffalo check carrots in here from, I think these were from Hobby Lobby. And then this little garland, beaded garland I made. Made that. And I'm getting down there, guys. Well, not really. More, a couple more wrapped things here. Some more of those little Easter houses from Goodwill. Look in the window, you can see those little bunnies in there. Super cute. It's like a little church. I love those. I can make a little scene. Uh -oh. And we have these also from Goodwill, holding a little eggs. This one too was holding something, but it fell. Where did it go? It was holding this. I'll have to fix it or donate it. Not sure. <laughs> and then this little one. Like a ceramic little Easter basket from Goodwill. So cute. That's a keep. And then just a little nest. More eggs. And then the Happy Easter Banner. Another nest and another sign. Another sign and another nest. So that's it guys. We came down to the last bits of all my Easter things. Let's see if you can see it all. <laughs> the whole table full. Alright, now I gotta put it all up on my living room, my tear trays, my hutch. I was going to try to do a um, decorate with me, but it's a little bit hard when people are home and stuff during the weekends and whatnot. So, all right, guys, I want to thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe and um, all the good things. And I'm going to get to decorating and you'll see it soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.